Well, lady sins and dirty capitalist pigs. We return to Splunky. And the challenge that will end my life soon. I don't know what the deal was with that. <laughs> that, that intro going a little too long on the pauses or in the silence and stuff. It's fine. It's okay. We have done so many of these. Anyway, we are going to find a skull and we're going to take the skull all the way to Yama. Or at least that's the intention. The intention is to find a skull. I don't see any skulls over here, so I might have just had to restart because I want to do this. There's a skull. Here you go. Here you go. This is my, my cherished cherished human head that I will carry all the way to hell and I will take this human head because it's an archaeolo archaeological artifact you see it's something trigger that and then use a dog to destroy a spider and then carry the skull with us hey it's an archaeological artifact we are this is like the most valuable item in the entirety of the dungeon here, the, the Splunky dungeon. And not the one that got reanimated, although you might think so, that, oh man, <clears throat> maybe that one that came back to life, that is the actual valuable one. No, no, this is the one, is the, the skull of King Tut the thir 13th, the, the undoer of virgins, that it was uh, his deal, that was like his shtick. And uh, he has been lost for a long, long time. And now Paco Spelanco, the famous archeologist, World-famous archaeologist, he was the one to find the incredible dig in Mesopotamia of, of the, the harem, the, the world-famous harem of the Thousand Virgins. I don't know what the deal is with all the virgins in the, my narrative today, but that's just what he found. It's just, nah, it's not my fault that, that that is the incredible dig that he encountered. Oh yeah, that was one stylish... One stylish elimination of some disgusting enemies. Shit with the threats all over the place today. <clears throat> this call needs to come all the way to the end. I could have gotten an item out of sacrificing this lady before pissing off Kali. But instead, instead, this was happening. We we're just murdering this guy. I mean, uh, there is nothing really to it. We, that is, that is just the way we roll in these challenges. I have zero patience for shopkeepers and their shenanigans. I will not bother to let, uh, to be peaceful with them. I will just not do it. <laughs> I'll not do that. I will simply make sure every single one of them dies as I traverse these areas. Uh, this should bounce in his head. No, because it's a sticky bounce. It did not bounce where I wanted it to bounce. If he had been non-sticky like he usually is at the point that I get here, I think this will be fine. Eventually he'll get out of there, don't worry about it. Maybe just use a rope to assist this man in his uh, quest for, for self-flagellation. There you go. <sighs> there is a bit of a complication here. Not really, I, I like a bit of a decision, I guess we can say. This man has murdered himself, I am very happy about it. About that. Uh, okay here and the Ujjara is right there Martha I was going to say oh she's going to take uh, an arrow to the face but nah nah we don't need to trigger that we'll be fine I do want to find the key and the key is in a very obscure place thankfully though we have picked up a bunch of explosives so it is no big thing to get through all of these wows to the key get that Ujjara and then we'll carry on with our skull and the old Jedi. And Martha, she will also go through the exit. Go help her out. She's our buddy. There's the exit. Kind of complicated. Okay, Martha. It's all on you now. You're smart enough to get to the exit. There you go. Well done. Well done, Martha. You are one of the smart ones. She knew, man. She knew the, she knew the path. What a freaking genius! She have plenty of time to do this. Hey, usually historically, the very first run that I try is usually the best, and then later, if I fail at the first one, it is just a continuous string of total disaster. So hopefully, we can make this one happen. Of course, you know we did find a Kali out there. That is fantastic. Uh, we blew up 
that's great. Of course, we don't want to do the second blow up too early. Otherwise, we will have to carry that ball and chain far too long. If this is my skull, this is some, some valueless skull belonging to some kind of pillager or something that we don't give a shit about. I would like to get this dog to the exit, and if I put him here, he will totally make his way, his way to the exit all by himself. Just you watch that happen. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. So good. So good. So good. I, I got time. I got time. The bats have uh, concocted an ambush here for me, but we were able to, to prevail. My skull! You piece of garbage! Oh, you piece of garbage! Just fills me with suicidal thoughts. Oh, jeez. <laughs> How could I have predicted that skull to get destroyed like that? Come on. Come on. I mean, so this is the real... I was, I was talking about my answer earlier. This is the real valuable skull because it just got reanimated. It just, it just came back to life and the scientists of my of my era, this, uh, this game, I don't know if you are aware of this, uh, this game is set in 1964. The scientists of my era are just so excited to unlock the secrets of life and death from this most valuable of skulls. It's going to be so incredible. Paco Spelanco will get so many accolades from uncovering all of the secrets of reanimating skeletons. Necromancy, man. He will be just so world famous. It will be amazing. Be like, and that's like the sequel, the planned sequel to Splunky, is when uh, you come out of the the eternal caves with all the archaeological marvels that we ha you have found, and uh, it's it's basically a, a cow clicker game. You just <clears throat> you just go into the game and you click on things to get money and resources. Uh, it's a bit of a step down, I'll I'll admit, but you know you gotta get with the times. Get get. Uh, new genres for new times it's just uh, what needs to happen man this type of uh, platforming action is just too played out it is just not a uh, not something that appeals to mass market anymore so Derek you the fantastic folks at the Splunky development team will have to adapt you see that is the story 100% factual story that I'm telling you today all right, let's just go through the exit. I don't think there was a new Jedi here. I, oh yeah, yeah, I just I just grabbed it. It was so quick because the key and the chest was so close together that I did not even bother to comment on it. It was that easy. All right, so we're moving on with our lives. I can simply stay there, I think. I don't give a damn about him. It will not be an issue whatsoever. He will not come back to help me. Leaving that guy alive will never come back to haunt me. It's just a fact of life that I have just... <laughs> That is a bit of a complication. I was going to use the bottom level as a way to get past the second uh, shopkeeper. That's all right. It's okay. We don't need no. We don't need no help. This 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 bomb is going to be the most amazing bomb of all time. This bomb is going to be the most amazing bomb of all time. Just you wait. We're we gonna work out. Man? This bomb is going to be the most amazing bomb of all time. Look at that. It worked. I'm just so good at this game. I'm amazing. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> you disgusting skeleton. You imposter. You, that got reanimated. Oh, isn't that a skull valuable? Dude, you might ask. You might ask this off me. You might say, like, wait a minute. That skull also came back to life. That whole skeleton did. Maybe you should you should keep that and take that to the experts. 1964 scientific expert of the necromancy that you were talking about. So factually, I'm gonna get hit here. I'm okay with that because it was the it was the train, man. I wish I had blown up the Kali Altar. I was kind of pressed for time. <laughs> I'm very much hoping that would not mean complete disaster. I mean, I don't be, feel too bad about skipping. I didn't mean to. I just did not realize it was there until it was a little too late. We can simply leave all these things, all these things behind. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed, to say the least. To say the least. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Anyway, to end that, that whole story, he was an imposter. So I'm trying to say thank you, Frog, for being so awesome. Making my life a little bit easier. Okay, friend. Okay, friend. There you go. There you go. Calculated. Beautiful. 
That was like the most badass bomb ever conceived. It was an imposter. The other was just some. It was it was all rigged with with bread and uh, somebody pulling strings above the skeleton. It wasn't a real thing. The one that I'm carrying, that was the real necromancy. This is just a freaking parlor or a trick. Oh, what it is. There. There. There, homie, homie, I'm done. We're going to <laughs> make a mess of these skulls. My skull! My sc what do you mean? I uh, Oh, I just swapped them. Do you see? Do you see how I, I swapped them? This is the real skull. This is totally not a falsification. This is not fake. Oh, how dare you accuse me of such things. Look at that. It's, it's exactly the same. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, uh, I am exploring this area in case the black market is here with... Uh, my friend, Major Stupid, is going to help me out. Sniff out the real, the, the real, the real skull. He, he'll know it. He'll know it. He'll, he will just, here's the prediction. If he, if this is the real skull that I'm supposed to carry, this dog will just go around in circles and say absolutely nothing. Look at that. Proof. Irrefutable proof. So I can now safely say that skull is exactly the one that I need to carry. And there is... Here, as a reward for your amazing service, Major Stupid, you're going to go to the great place in the sky. There you go. I guess something that I really am not, not all I'm interested in. But whatever. Um, I ain't having it. I'm having it, and we're keeping it. Okay, let's go with a real non-imitation skull. It is not... I, I'm taking offense right now. At your wild accusations that this is not the real skull that we found in the first uh, level. Look, the mix up could have happened. I'm not going to deny that it's not a possibility. What happened to the corpse? This is the way. <laughs> first thing I ever see that happening the dog attached to the guy, I mean, the bomb attacked the guy, the guy gets eaten, and then the plant gets blown up, the corpse vanishes. Oh, Jesus, Lunky, with the weird interaction shenanigans. Of course, I mean, it makes it makes sense from a programming standpoint, but the corpse, it has completely dissolved. It is a little of uh, the stuff of nightmares. Right? This is a very weird black market situation. You get it right here. Anyway, uh, this is actually a viable run so far. We found a Kali Altar that we blew up. We're going into the black market, which is great. We are absolutely carrying the real deal, the, the real skull that I'm supposed to carry and not an imitation at all. I wish you would stop accusing me of such things. And, uh, you know, we have the chance of getting this done. Okay, man. I know this works. Uh, that, not anymore, because he, he walked forward. If he goes back, he's not going to go back. All right. What, you, think, you think I'm afraid of you? I'm not afraid of you. You're coming out of here? Out of there? And... And being all, all all scary and stuff, I'm not afraid of you. I'm just gauging my options. I'm just, you know, making sure that you understand that your life is forfeit. Okay, this is totally safe. This is totally safe. Don't worry about me. It's totally safe. Don't worry about me. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We have. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It was all according to plan. Bouncing and ricocheting off the bullets, that was all according to plan. So I hope that you appreciate how well thought out that was. And you simply do not question what just happened and just say, wow, that was an incredible play. And I am waiting to be to continue being dazzled by his incredible Splunky skill. I hope that you... These are the thoughts running through your head right now. Jackass. Get out of my face. And I want to save this dog. Please save the poor dog. Lots of bombs. Man, I wish I could get this to, to Kali. She's ready to accept the present. It's her birthday. You get a present and then his out there will be bomb. It is, uh, I don't know, we, it's a tsundere type of uh, relationship. Uh, push me pull me kind of thing you know it, it's a little infuriating but that's just the way she rolls that's just the way she likes it 
Who am I to question? The heart of a woman, please. Better men have tried, not succeeded. Oh, a few bombs down there, just for shits and giggles. Watch my enemies explode. That should work, right? There's still enemies over there. What the hell, man? How you even uh, not? How is this news to me that you guys were still here? They're still there somehow. <laughs> They're all just hanging out over there, being complete assholes. I'm just going to go nuts here. Just keep throwing bombs, make a passage for themselves, because uh, there's plenty of bombs down there. I guess I could simply tunnel my way down. Let's just do that, I suppose. Looks kind of complicated to go the other way. It just takes too much work. I have a demolition team worth, demolition teams worth of explosive in my pocket. Why the hell try hard when I can just take the easy route? That is my philosophy in life. Why try hard to succeed when you can just live one day after the other in the drudgery of mediocrity until you just drop dead? What is the point anyway? Nothing is permanent. Even if even the most accomplished people out there, even freaking Thomas Edison, Albert Einstein, all, all of them fools, uh, even them, their accomplishments are worthless because we will all turn to dust. The earth will simply collapse. After the sun, the exploding sun swallows it in its mighty, mighty blaze of fire. But what is the point of anything? We should just lay down and die because life is so hollow. Anyway, we are in the ice caves. We're ready to have fun, ready to have, to have a good time. Everything's going to be fine. Everything is going to be amazing. And nothing bad will happen to Paco Espelanco. Absolutely nothing bad will happen to Paco's Belonco, damn it! We have the skull back there. It's the real skull, the real deal. It's happening. Um, okay. There you go. <laughs> amazing bouncing, amazing bouncing pellet of blood. Let's be, let's, let's be linear here. This is totally gonna work. Whoop. There was no reason to do that other than to watch him explode as he falls down to a, to a fiery death. Alrighty. One hit will kill me here, so maybe be a little careful. I'm a bit disappointed. No Kali Alta. I'm a bit disappointed about my health total. There was a dog uh, at some point somewhere. Where you be? Beautiful Major Stupid. Come with me, my friend. Good dog. Alright, so now we just need to get a Kali Altar in front of the Moai head. That is what needs to happen. Uh, not terribly likely here. I suggest that's likely. Ugh. If I don't unlock that guy, I might get the character where we want it, which is in the, in the mothership. Okay, we're just going to simply leave. Just leave. Oh! What the fucking hell? <laughs> well, uh, let's see if there's a Kali Altar. Look at this. Look at this. He's gonna get punched in the face. Because I just, I just cannot stand my life anymore. Let's see if there's a Kali Altar. See if we can get a little, at least, know that, uh, you know, there was no real way to win this. Ah! Please die before. Everything turns to shit. Okay, this is happening. Of course, it's not going to be a Kali Altar here. This should be in the next one. I mean, they could be in the next one. Right in front of the Moai head. I mean, if that's the truth, if that is the thing that happens, I will feel very slighted. Because I was carrying a very real and very important archaeological find. And I wanted to get it all the way to hell. And uh, it might not happen now, thanks to some bullshit ricocheting rock. Hello, friend. Oh, you have uh, been the victim of a terrible, terrible accident. And so, Pagos Belanco's life is forfeit because there was no second Kali Altar. At least. Oops, I just destroyed the, the skull of uh, Tim Ram says this, the third. It's okay, we'll find another skull. This one will do. 
It's just some random villager. It doesn't really matter, does it? We don't give a shit. We're just going to tell the fantastic story. And they will believe us because we're Paco Espelanco, the famed archaeology of old. <clears throat> and my reputation alone will be enough to, to carry this discovery to its ultimate conclusion, which is just wealth, power, and bitches. That is what's going to happen with Paco Espelanco. Wealth, power, and bitches. Yeah. That's what all that he aspires to. I was going to even throw a bomb, but not even worth it, man. Just destroy him with his own merchandise. Feels good. These people are so stupid. Ah. <sighs> okay, so we're looking for Kali. Ah! This call is done. It's done. Everything's done. <laughs> hey. We get the real deal now. We get the real deal. It's totally gonna happen. So, that is the chain of events. If you don't have any freaking idea what I'm trying to do here, because you are somewhat new to Spelunky, you have no idea what an eggplant run is, let me explain this to you. Free of charge. Not even going to charge you one bit for explaining what an eggplant run is. Usually, usually, this kind of run is done with the eggplant. You restart and restart and restart and restart and restart until you get a present box next to a Kali altar in the same level. You get that, Kali, that present box to the Kali altar, she'll give you a beautiful tasty eggplant that is just as fragile. <clears throat> just as fragile as this skull. You carry that, the objective is to carry that eggplant all the way to Yama, the final, final, final boss of Spelunky. To do that, you had to do a bunch of shenanigans because you're not even supposed to do it. It was discovered. It was discovered and thought about and theorized and then eventually carried out none other than the one and only Bananasaurus Rex for the first time that you could indeed, through a certain, a certain string of crazy shit happening, you could get the eggplant all the way to Yaman. Look at that, a, a casual cape out of that for no reason. You can get the eggplant all the way to Yama. You needed to blow up two Kali altars so that you could get a ball and chain. This ball and chain will enable you to destroy the Moai head and be able to carry an item through it. By doing that, you carry the, the skull through Okay, okay, let, let me think about this, interrupt that explanation for a little moment because there is a massive... <laughs> what the hell, Major Stupid God stunned by the... That was weird. Okay, that was not my intention. Major Stupid, you're just going to be a spider food today. Alrighty, all alright. This deserves a little bit of thought. There's a giant spider chasing me. My explanation has been interrupted by the uh, terrible hazards here. Anyway, you get the eggplant to the Moahe, that's like stage number one of your eggplant run. After that, you have to get it through the entrance to the City of Gold, which requires you to go through the Mothership, get a guaranteed <clears throat> character unlock there. And that happens with the robot. It's guaranteed to spawn there if you have not unlocked any other characters during that run. And of course, it's a one time only. That is why you have to delete your save game every time that you're trying to attempt the eggplant run that is a requirement of it unless you want to get really lucky and get a, a, a good uh, hard hand spawn to help you out very unlikely so people just kind of rig the system that way they um, reset the save game so that you get that somewhat kind of guaranteed let me be careful here Somewhat guaranteed helper in the mothership with that guy, that little robot. Wow, no <laughs> dual parachute. You can. Oh, that was bullshit. The cape preventing me from jumping onto that. Ah, oh, jeez. With that guy, you can carry both the scepter. You evil, evil cobra. How dare you? Poor major stupid. Look at me suffer like that. That is just terrible, man. That is just so disgusting. How dare you do this to Major Stupid? He did not deserve that fate. Anyway. Um, boom. Yes, with that helper, you can carry both the eggplant and the scepter through. 
4-1. And thus open the City of Gold, with your eggplant still in hand, and then it's just a matter of getting all the way through hell and throwing that eggplant at Yama's head. Because getting that eggplant alone is a huge pain in the ass. I have resorted to carrying this skull instead. It is slightly harder of a challenge, very, very slightly, simply by virtue of you start with this skull. You don't find it in the middle of the run, you start with it. And, uh, you know, that means that you have to go through the entirety of the game. Uh, making sure this skull survives. Wait, you, you imposter. So this is why I am destroying Kali Altar, so that later on I have the chance of getting a... Oh wow, really? That was bullshit. Uh, later on I have the chance of getting a bond chain. That has been triggered, right? That's that arrow shaft right there. Yeah, because of the cobra. That was totally triggered. Oh, there we go. Another poor dog getting murdered. All the poor dogs getting killed. This is bullshit. I feel, I feel for them, man. Anyway, now that that explanation is out of the way, something that I kind of sort of go through every uh, challenge that I do. Kind of silly, because, you know, if you're watching, like, part, what is this, six? Part six of this challenge? You probably have watched the others, or, you know, why are you staying at part six? Why are you some kind of moron that starts series uh, in the middle of them? That's kind of foolish. You're a fool. That is all I'm trying to tell you here. You're a freaking idiot, and you deserve to die. Anyway... Go back and watch number one through five, damn it. It is, uh, it is a worthy worthy uh, mission for you that I'm giving you. Not really, it's, uh, it's all the same. If you're starting to watch here, there's no problem with that because uh, it is exactly the same. Spoiler alert, I have not succeeded yet. I know this is an incredibly shocking spoiler for you, but uh, I know, I know it's just crazy, but it's the truth. And I am I'm telling truths like fists to your face. They're that blunt. They are that impactful. The truths that I'm spitting at you. Okay, there's nothing dangerous down here. Absolutely nothing dangerous going on in this level. There you go. No uh, black market either. So moving on with our lives. Of course, you need the Ankh to, to get to hell. So that's another step of the in the terrible, terrible ladder of disasters that you need to go through in order to succeed in this challenge quite the challenge. You could choose, and it would be kind of insane, to blow up this Kali out there right here and say, I'm going to carry that ball and chain all through the jungle. Not a good idea. I'm very upset that that guy did what he did. I thought I would have uh, the opportunity to whip him. I did not have the opportunity to whip him. And thus, I got boned. You know the bats? The evil, evil bats that we always find. I've always... Like, have my brain constantly, like, still, it does this. It will interpret the little two eyes as, uh, as teeth. Makes the bats that much more terrifying. I think, uh, okay, this, this, this can happen like so. There you go. Now he is just forever being skewered by these sticky traps. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good to watch my enemies perish in such a humiliating manner. We have a crazy... Shopkeeper, I have decided to throw this boomer at him pretty ineffectively. Ineffectively, ineffectually, I think that's an actual word. All right, he is bouncing like crazy. Maybe we can uh, go a little nuts here. Do -do 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 -do, shoot him in the face, in the back of the head. Oh yeah, feels good. To visit death upon my enemies. All right, I cannot get back up, so let's go. I guess I have 11 ropes. It doesn't matter. I could have used the shotgun to get back up, but what the hell for? I, mean, I ain't going to. I ain't got no time for that. Let's just do this instead. I, in fact, I'm going to bomb my way in there just in case the black market is in here. I don't think it is. I don't think it could be, because I've explored most of this. But just in case, since I have plenty of bombs, there's no real reason not to be safe. Mm -hmm. All right, black market is here. Uh, could this be it? Indeed. Now what is down there? A magnifying class is actually good tidings. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's make absolutely certain this skull does not get crushed by mistake. Hmm. We're going to go balls to the wall here. We're going to be ultra terrorists. Open up a, a passage for this man. 
That's kind of worrisome. He has decided to just leave. He knew. He knew I was too badass for him. So he was like, oh, I'm going to get out of here. Marcus Blanco is too badass. He has killed too many of my brethren. I better just leave. That was Mr. Shopkeeper talking to himself. I am a fearsome guy. I just... Intimidating, dude. When people look at my face and they turn around running. I'm just that, that muscular and intimidating. What do you mean? What do you mean is is because of my face? It's not. How dare you? How dare you, sir? How dare you, Sarah, madam, to question my beautiful visage? I'll have you know, I'm the most handsome Mufuko you'll ever find in your war in your freaking life. Let's just continue bombarding these idiots until nothing is left of them but smoldering remains. Seems to have worked out pretty well. My bombardment, uh, bombardment technique. Simple though, they could be an idiot. Ready to wreck my face. Nobody here. There's a bunch of idiots and uh, the wildlife is going crazy here. <clears throat> so many terrible things. Okay, that should work. We decided to catch the bomb. Everything works out. Now Paco's Belancas is going to make a tunnel. That's what he's gonna do. He's proud of his tunnel. He has an ancestry of miners. There you go. Mm -mm -mm. Family is uh, well known in Mexico. He's from Tijuana. For, uh, you know, it's a, it's a long line of miners. Mm -mm -mm. There's nothing, I mean, this is just a fact that there's no joke, there's nothing there, it's just the family of Pacos Blanco, we're all minors. It's just it's just a fact of life. It's, I'm not trying to make jokes here, I'm just trying to educate you, damn it. Uh, okay, this could be a complete disaster, so let's wait. <laughs> Alright, that's much better. Destroy this, ah, I don't have any spike shoes, that's weird. I guess we'll have to resort to explosives. There you go. Aha, your existence is forfeit. Excellent. My skull is all the way up here. I have destroyed Akali Altar, so we have a chance of finally getting that to work. The <laughs> spider's fun was put to a very, very quick demise. Feel pretty proud of it. And the fun of that spider, it was just bouncing without a care in the world, and I have destroyed it. All right. We have Mr. Man here. Here, go to the exit. You have missed your mark. Come on, man, don't make me work at this. Why? Why do I have to work at this? Just help you out. Help you out on your way out. There you go. There you go. All right, so once more, we have a bad situation. We might not get a chance at that uh, eggplant slash skull run simply because of the seed. And that is the unfortunate part, the tedious and upsetting part of the eggplant challenge. Challenge. You might do everything right. You might get to the spot that you need to get to. Then there's no Kali Altar with which to get a ball and chain with which to destroy. What the hell? That was a live skeleton. With which to destroy the Moai head. Upsetting. But it's just a thing you have to put up with if you are setting out to make this challenge happen. You know, it's it's uh, it's part of it. So I'm not even salty or anything. It's just you know, oops, too bad. Better luck next time. It's just, but there is a Kali Altar. It's a twist of events. Oh man, the plot twist is real. We have to destroy this Kali Altar. We have to make this happen now. I would like to get the extra health. Let's not kill myself, please. We have the chance. It's like the first time we have the chance of getting this far. First time ever. Ever! So let's not botch it with the usual incompetence. Okay, man. You know you know, you want to go the other way. I'm going to have to help you out. That is, was the minimal thing that could happen, but I think it will be enough. Okay. So here's what needs to happen now. It's in a kind of a bad spot. We're going to do this. We're going to get the bond chain. 
Now we're going to wait until all the spiders go down. Oh man, you can't even move. Look at this. I didn't know this. Oh wow. Amazing. Okay, all the spiders are gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost threw it away. <laughs> Holy shit. Almost throw this ball and chain away before using it. That would have been bad. <laughs> that would have been pretty bad. <laughs> like the most the most humiliating and ridiculous thing I could have ever done. Okay, there you go. There. Uh, that's not good enough. There. That's not what it needs to happen. Don't go in there, though. Okay, now I have limited time. Because the ghost is coming. There you go. The <laughs> bone chain is destroyed. Now I can go back for my skull. Wait, wait. I need to kill myself. Yes. That is what needs to happen. I mean, right as the skeleton shows up. I hope that I don't mess up this. Mess this up. And there's the head jet. Okay. And now we're going back for our skull. Don't get murdered by this random, disgusting yeti. Not yeti, mammoth. It's getting crushed. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have the head jet. I don't have to go through here, but let's do it because, you know, we can. Might as well do it. Oh, boy. Never got this done, I don't think. I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty damn certain. I've never gone this far. Now we have this skull. Now the next step is to go into the mothership. And to get that guaranteed helper in there. Because we have not unlocked anything this run. To the exit. I need to kind of think twice about it because, you know, it's it's kind of important not to mess up now. This could be the it. We get the chip tunes to celebrate it. Should work. And I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to bomb my way in there. Disgusting Yeti. There you go. In the exit. We just got a uh, now. Wow, really? Three ropes. I think I have plenty of ropes. Here you go. Have some ropes. Okay. Now the robot should spawn because we have not seen a single character. I think that is the. Yep, that is where it spawns. We don't want to liberate it until we have destroyed every thread in this level this should be safe putting that skull right there it should be safe and the mothership is not terribly likely for a safe place to even exist but as far as safe places go that spot was pretty damn close to qualify as safe destroy these guys this guy wants to throw a bomb my head there you go. There's the plasma cannon that we don't need. But, you know, it will be a good addition to my arsenal. With the bottom. Because it will it'll help me out. Help me out against all the all the other threats in the level. And basically destroy the evil alien queen. Oh, man, my phone is going off. I'll be right back. Why? Why must I know people that call me? Ugh! What the hell was I even up to? Oh yes, I was destroying this disgusting creature of nightmares. I am messing up. I am messing up. Let's do it like this. Alright. One more step closer to fiery victory here. Just being real careful. Just throwing all of them explosions. I really should not be doing like this. I probably would have forgotten, I mean, not forgotten, but regretted, uh, regretted dearly if this had gone wrong. Okay, let's do this. One less alien queen to worry about. Kill these disgusting alien lords. Okay. Okay, so good. So good. The alien lord here to speak of. That shopkeeper better not have ruined my life by destroying the the skull at the bottom or pissing off the unlockable guy. 
I'm pretty damn certain I don't need this thing. Okay, little alien. You and I, we're going to be friends. We're going to be the best of friends. Who's kind of close to ruining my life? Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to take it easy. We're going to take it easy. Alright. We're going to get the ghost all the way to the left hand side. That is the first thing that is going to happen. Second thing that is going to happen is for me to free the alien. And I don't think there is a safe place to leave him. And basically say we're going to count on him not committing suicide. It is so unlikely that he won't commit suicide though. I should look for a place to leave this guy. Hmm. I think that's the spot. I think there is a spot because we have mined out everything so much, and by mined out, I mean destroyed completely. Uh, but if I put a bomb here, no, 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 this will open the whole thing. No oh, shit. I think there's a way to do it. I will not destroy everything. <laughs> I think if I put a bomb exactly here. Yes, yes. No, that's not a safe place. Damn it. <laughs> it. It went a little too far sideways. What I can do. Yeah, this is what I'll do. I'll just put the skull right here next to the exit. Huh? And then I'll open up the place after this goat is as far as possible. As far as possible. Since I'm going that way, I might as well get another point of life for my troubles. I'm not really going that way, but, you know, I might as well get another point of life. Damn it. Okay, let's go this way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was no need to destroy this. And this should work just fine. We unlock this. Get the robot. Now, if I fail, which is incredibly likely, that this will not end well. Um, I will have to reset the save game again. And I will have to redo the whole thing again to get that guarantee spawn. Okay, friend. This call is right here. Friend, you're going to come with me. No, 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 no. Shh, shh. Okay, I, I, you're in my arms now. You're in my arms. We need to get to the exit. I would like to put you somewhere safe. It is difficult to find a safe spot for this asshole. What is there? Oh, man, three explosives. Feels good to have watched the shopkeeper kill himself. Mm -hmm. Not so great to not find a safe spot for this alien, for this stupid robot. There might, it might exist, though. It looks a little harder. I almost explode. <laughs> Holy shit, don't get punched. Almost get screwed up because of the ice. Yeah, there's no safe spot. I don't think. We'll kill these things. I mean, it's somewhat safe. To leave him in this uh, flat surface. Then go grab the skull. Right? Um, not here. That's not gonna. It's not gonna work. He might just stay here. Okay, friend. You can do it. You can do it. You can stay here. You're not going to suicide, are you? Wow, he was. He was ready, man. He was ready to jump. <laughs> Come with me again. The skull is here now. Uh, maybe if I put a rope here, he will ho hold on to it long enough for me to make it to the exit. I should have time. I should have time. The exit is right below me. Okay, no suicide for you, friend. No suicide. Is he still with me? You better. He needs the key. Yeah, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. All right, so this is totally happening. The problem now is getting the scepter through the wall, through the through the exit. For that to happen, I need this man not to die. 
do this and, and blow it up. In the temple, though, it is not nearly as difficult to find a safe spot for this dumbass. So we're going to be safe with that disgusting hawk man. Attach a bomb to his freaking nose and watch him explode. That's what three of that. Hmm. Mm hmm. There's lava there that is kind of a bad place to put this guy. This is an okay candidate. If I if I make my way in here. Careful with the falling rocks. I think this could be a good spot. If I do this right. I will, I will need to put this bomb. Uh, um, here? Man, it's hard to, hard to gauge. And if this bomb gets exactly on the corner, I don't think that's gonna work. Hey, this works. Hey, safe spot for you. Oh boy, all right, all right, okay. Now, step number two. Get a noob is dead. And steal his tool of death and destruction. For such a mission, I need to first find a Nubis. Mission complete. Grab his scepter. And he, the robot, needs to carry the scepter. If he uses it, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Hopefully he won't use it. Hopefully he will not use it. I'm going to go take the skull from where I left it, put it right next to the, next to the exit. In fact, we're going to open a path straight to the exit. Straight to the yeah. There's already a path straight to the exit, but we're going to bomb it just in case. Okay, and I will be descending. I'll put uh, this here. Already. Shit. Okay, I need to lure this ghost to me. You know why? Because otherwise he will go after the robot. I don't know if you're aware of this either. The ghost will chase uh, any player character. Well, there goes a person. <laughs> the ghost will chase any player character. The robot helper counts as a player character. So you need to constantly keep the ghost away from the thing at all times. Okay, man, this should be somewhat safe. If you use this scepter, I'm going to be pissed. Stop! Stop! Okay, we're going to go back. Ah. Get the hell out of my freaking face with your stupid camera! Take a picture of this lady. Oh, man, she's so beautiful. <laughs> so pissed at the stupid robot prioritizing this camera over the goddamn scepter. All right. Let's take this slow and make it happen. Disgusting ghost. Let's go get the scepter. Give it to the robot. Take this. Do not use it. Skull. Exit. The scepter is uh, done. If you use it immediately, I will be pissed. Stop moving. Stop moving. There's no lava down here, right? Okay. Okay. You piece of garbage. Stop. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> All I want is for this guy to stop using the damn scepter. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That worked out. Okay, now time to find the entrance to the city of gold. Not a terribly easy, not a terribly difficult uh, task. I would rather not get killed while trying to do it. Very, very good spot. There you go. There, nice. All the shenanigans are over. All I need to do now is not destroy this skull. 
That's all that needs to happen now. That's, that's like the remaining challenge is to keep this skull alive throughout all of Spelunky. It is not an easy thing to do because, you know, it's beaten Spelunky while babysitting a little item like that. That being said, the hard part is over. I just need to not be terrible now. Uh, something that is not, is not uh, trivial, not being terrible as Spelunky is, is something that takes a while to accomplish. But hopefully, we can make it happen. We're basically beelining for the objective. We really don't give a damn about anything that isn't just getting this done. Okay, you get two bombs to the face. And uh, we're going to make sure that the way out is clear of Shopkeeper. I don't have spike shoes yet? Wow. That's so weird to be in the city of Go without spike shoes. So strange. Hmm. Well, I almost died. Isn't that fantastic how I almost died? <laughs> oh, that could have easily ended my run because I didn't look down. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go get that skull. Another level vanquished. Now we need to do Olmec after this. Should be too bad. Should not be too bad. And then hell, of course, it will be hell. It will be difficult. And nothing that we haven't done before. Taking zero chances here. Nothing that we have not done before, damn it. So it might happen here, it might not. I mean, I'm not even going to say, oh, we got it, man, we got it. And I really don't count on that happening. Because this is a difficult challenge. Getting with my skull through hell will be a horrible nightmare. Uh, too bad it's not like the freaking eggplant. Like, you know, the real deal. Unless we find uh, somehow. Uh, there's no way. There's no way you can get the real deal anymore. But we're going to get as many bombs as we can. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Which is basically zero, it looks like. There it was. No crates. What is going on, Olmec? What kind of asshole are you? All you care about is money today? There's a few bombs, that's alright. Alright, so the Necronomicon is munching right here. Let's make a tunnel. We do one by one. Very methodical. We're going to close, like, open it up completely at the end. We're going to have the skull near. And nothing short of very, very bad RNG should damage me at the end here. Sometimes it'll so happen that the fire people, they happen to spawn exactly on your head as, um, as Olmec falls down. It is unfortunate. They shouldn't prevent you from getting through, though. Even if they hit you, it'll just take a little bit of damage, a little bit of pride, of them, pride with them. Okay, this works. This should work, too. Down goes, down goes Olmec, and into hell we go with our beautiful archaeological treasure. This skull, man, it will unlock the secrets of all humanity. We're leaving it here. Clearing the path to the exit. Okay. And I, since I have so many bombs, I think it very much pays to simply bomb my way through. Maybe get Vlad's amulet, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Get the amulet. This should take care of both of my problems here. There you go. It makes sense. It makes sense. all the sense in the world to be immune to lava now. And another bomb here because I really don't like this passage. Okay. An easy level so far. Not a, a lot of terrible uh, gauntlets going on. Let's well kill all these disgusting monsters. But of course, we want to be the most careful with the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper is dead, though, because of these. I'm going to put a bomb there, and we're going to run like crazy. Because that happens. <laughs> you don't want that to uh, visit disaster to our neck of the woods. Alrighty, well, we have gone through the first level of hell. I mean, I don't, I don't foresee any kind of dangers 
Careful. <laughs> this bat, this bat could be everything. It could be everything. Not really. It would just be at one point of damage. It should be totally safe. Wow. Boy, do, am I glad that I have more bombs. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm so glad that they didn't bounce into my head and just end everything. Although it would have been an amazing death. I would have been proud of that death, honestly. But I'm glad it didn't happen. Alrighty. Another level. Another challenge. Hmm. Two bombs to get through here. I'm okay with that. There you go. Plane is super duper safe. That's just the way to do it. I don't know why I'm alerting this guy. Maybe this is just he gets stabbed to death. Fun times. The exit is all the way to that other side. Spikes. Dangerous. Okay. Bump to the face and immediate death. All right. Another this uh, this uh, level of health was pretty damn easy too. I mean, I am making them easy thanks to tunneling through. But damn it, taking zero chances here. No bats to throw me into spikes. That would be a classic way to end the run, too. Just get thrown into spikes by a bat in hell. It'd be quite awful. But it should be safe, too, leaving that skull there. And I am going to just on my way down. I have nine bombs. It should be okay. Alrighty, looking down. Always careful. This should be safe enough to go down this way. It's all the way down. The young she should be killed. And there's the exit right there. Where is the shopkeeper, though? He got stabbed and then subsequently destroyed. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just so apprehensive, honestly. Very, very straightforward hell level. Wow. Wow. Excellent. Is a whole uh, a straight down tunnel. After I bombed my way through a little bit. And through the exit. We made it to Yama. We just need to kill Yama. And this challenge will be over. We'll be... We'll be done with this challenge. And uh, the next challenge I want to do, I'm uh, really looking forward to it actually, is the superhero challenge. So hopefully we can get it done. This skull, man. I'm really hoping that no uh, okay, no ball and chain fell into my head. That's good. Where are the rest of my bombs? I really don't need them, I suppose. They just got blown up. That's weird. Man, they fell into the lava. That is... I mean, it's not prohibitive. This should be safe. Or is it? I don't know if the fire people destroy skulls, so I, I really don't want to leave it exposed like that. Okay, friendo. Ooh, oh, shit. <laughs> you startled the shit out of me, Mr. Vampire. There you go. Because, uh, I'm not going to blow out the spikes because I might not have enough bombs to get it all done. We'll do something like this. This is safe. I am carrying the skull, and that's kind of a bad idea. Let's not get attached to the young. All right. Let's be careful. Going to go all the way down. Get that skull right there. Watch these guys just jump into the lava. Oh, shit. Then know that the, he would uh, turn around like a shopkeeper like. Okay. All right. Yeah, that gets attached. All right. Super, super safe. We have escaped with our incredible archaeological find. There's a bat there. There's a bat there. Our archaeological find is going to bring me wealth, fame, and bitches. Yes, I will be the envy of all of my, all of my archaeologist peers. Look at me with my skull. It's so beautiful. It's so magnificent. The secrets of necromancy, they are coming with me. They're coming with me. I will raise an army of zombies. I'll have a zombie army. 
and nobody shall harm me. Oh, I'll drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Who do you voodoo, bitch? Oh, I'm so glad I had a parachute. We even get to save this skull. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I am Paco Spolanco, the most magnificent and incredible of all archaeologists. Indiana Jones, suck my dick. A new king is in town and his name is Paco Spelanco. He will vanquish all of you assholes. Archaeologists is a really cutthroat society. I don't know if you're aware of this. I'm just so fed up with these people. I'm so glad I'm going to just in your face, in your face, you asshole archaeologists. I'm so happy that you are all in envy and awe. Paco is Blanco, the archaeologist necromancer. He's, you know, he's part-time necromancer. He's like a hobby. Um, yes, uh, success. Success is what I'm trying to get out here. <laughs> we are finally victorious. It took less tries than I thought it would. That is pretty neat. I'm so glad that we didn't have to restart after getting the, the guaranteed dude. You know what I'm saying? I would have been really shamed if we had had to resort to yet another save game clear to get the guaranteed helper and all that good stuff. So I am very, very glad that it has ended the way it has ended today. There will be a brand new challenge coming up later. You know, in the, the, the next the next challenge that we do it will be fantastic. It will be beautiful. It will be heroic. But that will be next time. I'll see you then. Until that time. Bow to my archaeological prowess.